Hi there, I'm Hector Haynes and I'm a member of the Great British Orienteering Team and I'm here to talk to you today about how to keep your direction in orienteering and that means using the compass. Compass really is the king of orienteering. So this is the base plate compass. You can see it's a plate on the bottom, it's got a magnifier here and it's, the compass itself is here, red pointing north and we can turn the housing of the compass here and the red lines underneath turn with that. So we take the compass and we put it on the map. Now we are stood at control number four. We take the compass and we want to go towards control number five. So align the compass, the edge of the compass with the direction that you want to travel here, four to five. Okay, like so. With the housing of the compass, we can turn it such that the red lines on the housing here, the red lines, then are parallel with the north lines of the map. The north lines of the map can be seen here and in blue. They're spaced evenly across the map. So now we have the direction of the control and the red lines under the compass lined up parallel with the north lines. So we can take our compass away and then if we line the red lines here with north-south on the needle like so, you see, like so, this line is now pointing towards the control. So now let's go and find number five. So even though I'm running on a bearing, I'm still reading the map. I'm taking in as much information as possible and I can see the contours, know that I'm gonna be losing height here and know that I can look for a path just before the control. The compass is just keeping me on my line. When I'm racing, I like to use a thumb compass nowadays. I think it saves me time. It allows for clean navigation, immediately get your direction. And this is important if you want to keep a high speed. So now we're at number five and we're gonna to run to number six and this time I'm gonna use a thumb compass. So, in the same way, I line up the compass here between five and six, and the north lines on the map, I twist the bezel and the housing of the compass to match up with these lines. Then I can easily rotate the compass so that the north arrow then lines up with the lines inside the housing, which means this is the direction, five to six. It's always important to pick the fastest route in the forest. Look for features ahead that will allow you to keep your line as best as possible. You can use things such as significant trees. Here, I could see the small boulder on my left, so I knew I was keeping the right direction. The terrain in the marsh makes it difficult to run straight, many fallen trees, etc. But I kept checking my compass, looking up, and therefore I was able to keep my direction. So, to recap, you can take a compass bearing by lining up your base plate compass with the map and then turning around the housing so that the needle matches the north lines. This can also be done with a thumb compass, which many experts use as you can take in both the map and the direction at the same time. Then, when you're in the terrain, keep looking ahead and pick out a feature in the distance that you can run to. Okay, well that's it. Thanks for watching and remember, Focus when you're using your new techniques. Really practice them and you'll get better and better and faster and faster. Get out there and enjoy. See you next time.